Welcome back. In the previous part, we went on board the ghost ship here, and we took care of Captain Reed. He was a good man. He was a very good man. But he gave us a map. It'll show us, like, the currents around the island. So it's probably best we take that back over to the village. Well, that was worth getting, wasn't it? A small leaf? Thanatos and Sahard, both highly knowledgeable about the sea, thoroughly examined the sea chart that Adol brought back with them. It had information on the surrounding seas and reef formations, and most important of all, the Oceanus's migration route. With this useful information, the castaways began to feel a sense of renewed hope. And so... Where is it? Right here, north of the capital, where that chasm is located. Of course. What's it mean? It's only natural that the Alcyanus would make its nest somewhere along its migration route. According to this chart, it seems to have multiple travel routes. Using that, we can determine where its nest is located. So we need to determine the one area its roots all have in common. And that one area just so happens to be... Oh! I get it now! <laughs> Very sharp, ladies. The one area where its roots all meet is the Archaeozoic Chasm. Is there a connection between the Oceanus and the Chasm? There's no way of knowing. It could but just be a coincidence. It won't be, will it? It really won't be. What's that note behind him say? That's clearly in English. Or at least it uses a uh, English alphabet. Can't remember what it's called. It's got a name. There's a strong likelihood that it dwells somewhere around here. Adol, the next thing we need to do is come up with a strategy to take out the Oceanus. Needs some way of getting underwater and breathing. That would be nice. At last, we can finally avenge the Lombardia. I hope Captain Barbaros is watching us. Donna, do you know anything about that chasm? Um... Yeah, she might do. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. What's wrong? A headache? I'm sorry, I just don't remember much about it. Are you okay, Donna? Yes. Definitely feels like it's it's a case of... Part of the reasons, like like the time being able to change sort of things. Like, certain events are predetermined. Like, the end of Eternia will happen. She knows that will happen. But how it comes about, the specifics are just... They've not happened yet, really is the best way of putting it. Like, like the details, the minutia of it haven't happened, so she can't remember it. That's how it feels at this point. Uh, yes. That place must be really important to give me such a splitting headache. Which means I shouldn't be afraid to face whatever it is waiting for me. Uh, spoken like a true maiden. <laughs> that has nothing to do with this. I just know that it, I can't keep relying on you and the others like I have been. Even if my memories are things I'd rather not remember, I still need to restore them, so I can be myself again. It doesn't just feel like a simple like she's not remembering on purpose, like, like suppressing it, that sort of thing. It feels like it's, you just can't because it hasn't technically happened in a specific order yet, sort of thing. Dana. Alright. You've got a lot to do right now, but I'll leave the investigation of the chasm to you, adult. If you need help with anything, let us know. Looks like the turning point is within sight for us castaways. So, we need to get to that chasm. But how are we supposed to cross the ocean to get to it? Unlike the shallow waters here, the Oceanus lives somewhere in those deep waters. We'll end up like that stuffed shirt Conan if we try to get there by boat. <laughs> Maybe we should have hitched a ride on Captain Reed's ship. Not a bad idea. Maybe we should have, but it's too late now. That chasm is where the Royal Palace of Eternia used to be. You mean above the ocean? Yes. It was a beautiful structure, known then as the Pearl of the Gator Sea. 
Its substructure is underwater, and I heard it leads directly to the ocean floor. The royal family had essence equipment that they would use to move about freely underwater. If any of them are still intact... But the palace doesn't exist anymore. Could that chasm be somehow connected to the palace's disappearance? I can't say. Hmm. I mean, that's... That wasn't Hummel going, hmm, that was me. But, hmm, there's no point in discussing this further. We should just see it for ourselves. A professional transporter must always know the lay of the land. And braces. We're not transporters, but otherwise I agree with that idea. Huh? What is it, Donna? Wait, we got one here? Crystal's glowing. Is it going to be one of red ones? Here? Huh? What's this mean? I'm not sure why, but the Earth's essence seems to be reinvigorated. We might be able to warp now. Warp? Yes, it's a method of instantaneous travel that uses the natural essence found in the Earth. Uh... What? I think I saw you utilize that method of travel when we saw your memory. That's right. It might be easier to just show you. Please, stay still, everyone. If you do... have to move, uh... You might lose an arm. Anyway... What? What? Oh. We just... We're back at the ruins in the northern region of the island. What just happened to us? <laughs> you experienced a warp. You can instantaneously travel to any location just by focusing on it. I'm sure you can warp anywhere where you found crystals or scenic views. Are you the only one who can warp? No, anyone can warp as long as they have this crystal ring. Gathering materials should be much easier if we can all warp to a location. T True. That's intriguing that they've now incorporated like the actual game pee. Game pee. Yep, the game pee. The gameplay element of warping within the story itself. Because before, obviously, the idea was we're actually walking to places we were just jumping around. But it's like, oh, that's intriguing. Why? Why has that become part of the story? Does it only work on this island? Yes, I believe so. <coughs> How unfortunate. No, I couldn't call myself a transporter if I came to depend on such a crutch. I mean, you could. You're just using your tools available. That would be wise for a transporter. Come on. Later, Don explained warping to the other castaways. Though they were skeptical at first, everyone came around to it after they experienced it for themselves. Thanatos and Euron began working on a way to recreate Dana's crystal ring. After seeing them off, Adon and the others readied themselves to travel to the northern area of the capital. And this should make it much easier to gather materials to build the ship. You are now able to warp. I mean, I was, anyway. What points have been added to the map, increasing your travel options? You can also walk to any location points huh, that you have discovered. It made it sound like I couldn't before. Ah, so we've got some quests now. Red Baby Onesie. Oh my. Try to make baby clothes for our baby, but I'm in a bit of trouble. I don't have all the materials I need. Can you help fill in the gaps? Giant Nemesis? There is another monster on this island. I consider my nemesis besides Oceanus. Doesn't show up very often, but I saw its rear. I saw its rear. I mean, Thanatos, I mean. <laughs> but I saw it rear its ugly head recently. Speak to me for more details. Rallying concert. Everyone is beginning. Yep. Apparently, everyone is beginning. You know, the start. Everyone is begging me to play the harp I've found. I mean, you are really slowly becoming Olivier, aren't you? I don't know what to do. If it will help, I'd like to play it, but. Anyway, please come talk to me. Definitely should get on these. They're all short, look. Apparently we had the materials anyway. Thank you. And now I can finish up the clothes for the baby. Alright, time to get to work. And so Ed took over tailoring the baby. 
Well, it was that Addison had started making. I was like, wait, what? With his skilled hands, he finished his work in no time. I like my new clothes. They're nice and snug and warm. Thank you very much. <laughs> what a nice outfit. It looks great on him. <laughs> That's right. And they're so cute, too. <laughs> oh, darling. By the way, the colour red is a symbol of good luck to us. What better colour to remember you by, Adol? Yes. We want our son to grow up brave and strong, just like you. Also, Alison and I have been talking. And we've come to a decision. May I, Alison? Yes, of course. All right. Adol! Would you... Do us the honor of being our son's godfather and naming him. You don't have to speak like that, mate. Go on, then. I know this is a big deal and a tough decision to make, but you are our savior, Adol. You saved my family. So I want you to name him. I want that, too. I want it, too. Shut up, baby. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Adel. Jeffrey. Oh, do you already have a name in mind? Hmm. Oh, I like Hope. I like Hope as a name there. The Hope of Castaway Village. Hope. <laughs> That's an excellent name. Yes, it really is. I like the name Hope. It reminds me of Final Fantasy XIII. Don't mention that game. <laughs> I think he likes that name too. Yes. Do you like it too, Hope? The Hope of Castaway Village. I'm so thankful to Adol for you. Thankful to Adol. I'm so thankful that Adol feels the same way about our son as we do. I, I doubt it's the exact same, but okay. Yes. I've never felt so happy before. Never. Thank you so much for naming him, Adol. I'm so grateful for all you've done. Thank you very much. Please continue to watch over us and hope. And hope? Oh, it's capital H. I was, I was wondering, like, what do I have to hope for? <laughs> that was great. Indeed. Oh. If I might ask a moment of your time, Adol. And if possible, I would like Donna to hear this as well. It's entirely possible. You're Austin, right? Is there something I can help you with? Oh, I wanted to show you something. I recently discovered this. Ah, that's from the Eternian era. It's made of wood, isn't it? It survived? Hmm, I suspected as much. I give it a light strum, and by some miracle, it's still properly tuned. Everyone who sees me with this asks me to play them a song. They say hearing, say hearing one will encourage them before the battle with the Oceanus. <laughs> I'd like to hear a song too. But wouldn't you, Adol? Oh yes, I suppose. I thought you had me a musical talent. Oh God, don't say that. Can you play the harp? I can. And not just the harp, though. I can play any musical instrument. Barely, that is. As I look around the village, I notice that each person here has a particular role in which they specialize. By comparison, I... Well, all I have done for the village so far amounts to odd jobs here and there. As far as the others are concerned, I am an artistic savant, yes. But if my work doesn't make their lives here easier, then I'm just a burden. I've been thinking about what I can do to help everyone. And I've decided to overcome my fear and perform music for them. Hmm. I don't think anyone here considers you a burden. That being said, I would love to hear you play something. Hmm. Well, I can't give up after hearing you say that. But for some reason, I am wholly lacking in musical talent. If possible, I'd like to study some sheet music. After all, they are basically a sort of musical blueprint. I had some. I think I could learn to put on a convincing performance. 
And since this is an Eternian harp, I thought it would be appropriate to perform a song from your era. I see. So that's why you wanted to talk to me. Sheet music. Hmm, I'm sure I can find sheet music in Eternia. I'll try to, uh, to, to, to find some for you. Excellent. Thank you so much. Oh, hey, Adol. I see you have some pirate notes. Uh, there was a time when I researched pirates. My findings may come in handy. Uh, mind if I look at those notes? Of course. Great, uh, thank you. Reed's log also mentioned this. Uh, the pirates must have had a rough time. Still, thanks to the map they left behind, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Let's not waste their efforts and follow through on our end. Of course. Adol answered Thanatos' words with a deep, meaningful nod. Oh! Why isn't that lovely? Oh, is that what Oh, that wasn't the quest? Oh, okay. Giant nemesis, then. Oh, who checked the bulletin board? I'll spill the details since you came over to chat. I would like both you and Sahar to know about this. I understand why you called up Adol, but why did I fade in? Uh, why did- why me? Well, I wrote that I have another sworn enemy here besides the Oceanus. That sworn enemy... is a fish. A fish? You mean like... the one what got away? <laughs> Something like that. It's a bothersome foe. I'd like you guys to defeat it for me. Sorry for taking something so, so silly, so serious. <laughs> Don't sweat it. Holding it won't do you any good. Now then. No idea what that was. Uh, how big is this fish? Yes, well, this fish appears to be a breed of Piraru. But it's a giant one that's over five mile, 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 mile long. Ah, oh, damn, that's a crazy big one. Hmm. It appears every so often without warning. But Little Paro recently spotted it. If we don't catch it now, we might not get this chance ever again. Unfortunately, I don't have time to go out and fish it up myself. Which is why you're asking us. Plan to eat this bad boy once we haul it in? Of course. You cook what you catch. That's the first rule of fishing. Even if it's a boot. Now then, can I ask you to do me this favor at all? Uh, I'll catch it if I have the time. I'd like to see the fish first. Be cautious, you know. <laughs> Your curiosity truly knows no bounds. Anyway, that fish is supposedly in a pond at the Water and Wood Hills. Primordials can be found there as well. Oh, I know, trust me. Please be careful while you're there. It's on. Now, the issue is here is that I actually want to give this to Shoe Bill. So, why do I have to catch it twice? So, this is going to be difficult from the looks of it. Like, jeez. How do I get. Yeah, oh, there we go. I was going to say, how do I get more? So it wasn't going up. Oh god, my thumb's gonna be dead after this. Keep mashing, keep that mashing, keep that mashing. Go, 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 go. Come on. Sort of halfway there, I guess. Ah, oh, don't do that one. Give me the twirlies. Ow! Thumb. Ow! Come on, come on. We're gonna get you, you damn fish. Come on. Ah, just give me the ones where it's side to side. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel the burn in this. It's a good workout, this. Good workout. Ow. Good. Come on. Come on. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. Oh, you would. The, the L1R1 at this point, wouldn't you? You would. You would. Come on. Oh. <laughs> we did it! Did we? Oh, thank Christ. My hand. And this is the giant Piraru that Thanatos told us about? <laughs> Things are ridiculous. Papa will be so happy. I wonder how it grew so large in the first place. I've never seen such a 
huge fish before. Hmm. Let's report this to Thanatos at once. Nod. Oh, you ruined my nemesis. <laughs> Great. Let's cook this sucker up and have a feast. And so, Edo brought back the giant pirado. And Thanatos cooked a bunch of different dishes out of it. Despite the tremendous amount of food prepared, everyone managed to eat it all. You pigs. Enjoy the food. <laughs> Glad you liked it. Uh, it's nice to sit down with everyone and share a meal. Hmm. You look like you want to ask me something. We've broken bread together, so to speak. You can ask me anything. Hmm. Why are you asking this? And do you have any family besides Rakoda? Hmm, my personal question, huh? The answer for that is no. Uh, for now, that is. Don't get the wrong idea, though. Nothing tragic has happened to any of my loved ones. I live the carefree life of an explorer. So I've never been able to settle in one place for very long. At my age, I have a lifetime of excuses for not settling down. Not to brag, but I used to do pretty well for myself back in the day. Even now, I still got plenty of lovers to choose from. <laughs> Am I? That's not what I was asking for. So how are you doing in the romance department? <laughs> Don't get so flustered. You tell me about your conquest some other time. <laughs> Side eye like, uh, do I have to? Great job. Ooh. Okay, so next up we've got a little affection scene here with Queena. Oh, hello. Hey, you want to hear something really cool? Gotta keep it secret from everyone else, though. Come on, this way. Adol decided to follow Queena. Queena sneaked out of the village with Adol and guided him to a nearby hill. <laughs> what do you think, Adol? Isn't this place amazing? I've been here before, at the beginning of the game, so... I already knew about this place. I'm gonna, that, that sounds, I mean, I'll say that as a joke to you guys in the commentary, but in terms of saying it to her, it's like, no, that's cruel. So, I'm stunned. <laughs> Pino, right? <laughs> this is my special place. Oh, but please don't tell Dogi. He gets mad when I play outside the village. <laughs> Doesn't it feel good here? Don't you just feel like running around? The wind at the captain's watchtower feels nice and all, but it doesn't smell like flowers like this place does. So, Adol, don't worry so much, okay? I'm just worried about Donna. <laughs> oh. I don't know what's going on, but Donna seems like she's got it rough, too. I know! I'll teach you a secret that'll make you feel great! The secret is... No matter where you are, you just gotta look for fun stuff! You just find something fun! Anytime! Thank you, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Mm -hmm. You got this, at all. Oh, you're blushing. She's adorable. <laughs> He's blushing. Run away! <laughs> Is that sort of like, just look on his face and like, oh, she's just so adorable, isn't she? Just being all, all childish and messing around and lovely and all funs. This is the aerial corridor. In my time, this corridor was the entrance to the royal palace of Eternia. Oh, look over there. Hmm, the crystal is glowing. Time travel. It's clearly what's happening. 
I'm assuming I have to progress the story a little bit to find the music sheet that I'm after because there's no question mark on the map, so I don't know where I begin to look. It's got to be related to Eternia in some regards, so... What is it, Donna? The sun's light seemed to dim for a split second. Hmm, so it wasn't like an oncoming storm then, or anything like that. You must be seeing things. The clouds are nowhere near the sun. Yeah, but it could have been something flying in front of it or something like that. Yes, of course. Now then, are you certain that the palace will cease to be? Yes. Just that thought of like, what if it's like a passing comet or something? And it's like, that just went in front of the sun. Maybe it's getting closer and stuff like that, and it'll have bits around it that will descend from the heavens and destroy a turn and stuff like that, because it's... Feels like that giant crystal thing's important. Hmm. So I and I have spent our entire lives in the capital. You can see why it's difficult for me to accept such a terrible thing will come to pass. Olga... ...was concerned about that chasm. Why does that appear in the cap- Let's move it, people! We must finish before this day is done! Well, well, Lady Donner, I see. Accompanied by the High Priestess, no less. Are you heading into the city? I am, yes. I have business I must attend to there. I see. Please let us know if we can be of any assistance. Oh, of course, thank you. Where are you going? Where are you and your men going? We are storing food by decree of Her Majesty Queen Sarai. Lady Dana is said to have received a vision of a poor harvest this year. That vision came to her just yesterday. I presses of Queen Sarai to take action so soon. Yes. Even if this year's harvest is poor, you have nothing to fear. <laughs> the Kingdom of Eternia has faith in both Queen Sarai and Lady Dana. After all, they have brought about the most prosperous age in Eternia's history. <laughs> We're all gonna die. <laughs> Well, we should return to our duties. Yes, forgive me for distracting you. Oh, this was no distraction at all. Please excuse us. I just couldn't tell him. I could admit that I'm trying to figure out why the palace will vanish. It's fine. There's no reason to cause unnecessary confusion. Now then, Dana. We should be on our way as well. This man, Adol, was trying to reach the aerial corridor in front of the palace, yes? That's right. I need to hurry so Adol can reach the chasm. Hmm. Gloom. That's one way of putting it, isn't it? Alright, so we've got three places to go. We want to go to the Temple of the Great Tree. Hmm. Three question marks to go to, then. Definitely do the question marks before anything else. So let's head back up towards here then. Is this the right way though? Well, I'll take that as a yes. Maiden, high priestess! What's wrong, Cecil? Or Cecil? Cecil. Uh, are you two leaving so soon after the Harvest Festival has ended? You both seem rather preoccupied as of late. Forgive us, but we'd rather not inconvenience anyone else with this. No, no, I'm sorry. I guess I'm not expressing myself clearly. What I mean is, if you need help, you can come to us. I don't know what you two are so busy investigating, but I can tell just by looking at you that it's something serious. I don't know what we can provide, but... 
Please let us do whatever we can. Hmm. Thank you, Cecil. I am very grateful for your offer. At the moment, we cannot share any details just yet. But when the time comes, I'm sure we'll call upon you for help. And when we do, I trust that you'll provide all the help we will need. Lady Dana, huh? I understand, thank you. At the very least, allow me to handle the things while you're away. Please do. Donna, let's part ways here for now. That way I can do some investigating on my own at the temple. Understood. I'll meet up with you as soon as I can. <laughs> the temple won't fall into ruin just because you two are away. <laughs> my harvest festival just finished, though. So everywhere is crowded. Please be careful while you're out. May the great tree guide your path. Maybe that's why it falls into decay and ruin. It's like, it's our fault. Because we leave. It's entirely possible, isn't it? The Temple of the Great Tree. I'm looking for something, like, still the frame rate here. There's, like, something odd about this place. I don't know why it's specifically there. Alright, so, where do we... Like, over in that corner, apparently. But it looks like it's up over in that corner. Rather than just, you know, in that corner. So, that's back down. Hmm. Oh, no, no, no. I see it. I see it. Release the disturbance. Ah, oh, God. That was dreadful. I don't know who you are, but I... I thank you for saving me. <laughs> You're very welcome. My name is Donna. What are you doing here? Ah, uh, uh, this is a long story. Do you have a time to spare? My name is Eld, Spirit of the River. I reside in the river to the west. Uh, one of my kin recently disappeared. She usually wanders off to peep at the nearby village. But this time seems different. Worried, I began to search for her and tracking her presence all the way here. It's actually my little sister. Can't believe she would worry me so. I see. I'm sorry I couldn't be more helpful. Oh no, don't worry. She shouldn't be... She should be somewhere nearby. Donna, was it? I sense much potential in you. I'd like to have this. Please take it. What is this? Bucket of water. Ooh. Blue seal of whirling water. Hmm. Increases SP gains even further. Gain a freeze effect. Thank you. Q. <laughs> I have just granted you the river's blessing. Oh well. It's like, okay, bye. Spirit siblings. I hope they reunite. Might be closer than I think. Maybe I should keep an eye out for her. Yes. Y Great yes. Job. Oh, hello. We'll be doing that soon, won't we? Definitely keep an eye on that. Make sure we get through there. Lovely. That vision. Does that mean the door is unlocked now? I mean. I should check when I have time. What else would it mean? Hey, does it mean it's unlocked now? Nah. It means it's still locked. It's just it's just playing tricks on you. It's just messing you about. Being like, am I unlocked? No. I'm gonna make you come all the way here though and just check. It's like it's the most dickish door you've ever known. You get there and like. The door is locked. I'm like, screw you, door. That's just mean. That's just mean on so many levels. <laughs> it's calm. I wish this moment would last forever. It's nice to see that little tree. Knowing eventually it's going to be one giant tree. It's like, this is a little sapling. Right, so over there. So the question is, what is over here that's a question mark? You guys? Huh? What's all this commotion? Excuse me, what's going on? Ah, Maiden of the Great Tree. Oh dear, this is nothing you need to concern yourself with. Every person's smiling face is a testament to Eternia's prosperity. No issue is too trivial for my involvement. Now please, tell me what has happened. My lady, please forgive us. We're currently experiencing issues with one of the mechanisms in the monastery. 
As you know, Ballardo Monastery has hosted many ceremonial events for the citizenry. We were welcoming a newborn child or bidding farewell to the nearly deceased. N nearly. Not, not the newly. Nearly deceased. You know, they're about to die. We must pass through this gate. As such, we've always referred to this gate as the Grand Gate of Happiness. The gate itself is quite old. We discovered this morning that the essence equipment that powers it has broken down. This equipment is unique too, for it was designed several hundred years ago. So we need to research how exactly to repair it. That's a problem. I offer to help. And with your consent, I can personally contact Baja Tower on your behalf. They can send someone in a matter of days to repair the gate. That would be splendid. Thank you so much for looking after us. <laughs> Way to go, wandering maiden. I wonder if there's any music in there, and in the future we can get in there now. Don't be rude. Kids these days have no manners at all. <laughs> Afterward, Dan wrote a letter requesting repairs and arranged for it to be sent to Barsha Tower. <laughs> we did it! Like, yeah, we did that. But the question is... Can I go back to the present? Although there's something over there now. Hmm. Is that something... I, I want to skip back to where I was in the present to be like, ah, can I do that quest? No? Oh, very well. So I've got to wait to get through this. There we go. Ah, there we go, Lord. Maybe he can help me. Um, excuse me. Oh my, how may I be of service, my lady? Um, do you have any music sheets? Something I can, I can play on a harp? Right, this is supposed to help everyone feel ready to fight the Oceanus. I prefer something upbeat. that will make anyone who hears it feel happy. Upbeat and happy. This might be a little cliche, but uh, might I suggest Blue Harvest? Blue Harvest? Isn't that Star Wars? That's the song they play during the Harvest Festival. Yes, I think that'll work. Hmm, <laughs> wonderful. Unfortunately, I lent that piece to a young lady named Conjura. I don't have it on me at the moment. But I'm sure she'll let you borrow it if you talk to her. Okay, I'll ask her then. Where is she? Hmm. Although we went... Was that on the map? That... I don't know. That's just something I'm like... Wait, what? Oh, is that you, Eo? What are you doing here? Getting loads of random things happening. Alright. You don't need to eat so fast. I'll wait for you to finish. I've seen this child a lot lately. Do you know her? She looked hungry, so I gave her some food. Oh, thank you. Please let me pay you for it. <laughs> no need, Your Eminence. You've been such a great help to us. This is no trouble at all. <sighs> I'm stuffed. All right, lady. Let's go. Let's go? Where are we going? I'm going wherever you're going, duh! You can't do that. I have things to do. Ah, fine. I guess you have been pretty busy lately. Take care of yourself. Huh? Okay, thank you. She didn't put up much of a fight. I wonder why. She's extremely suspicious. <laughs> All right then. Right, we'll end this part here anyway. In the next part, we'll go on and see about trying to find this music sheet, etc. And check the other question marks. So we'll see you then. Ta for now.